Jennifer Creed. Ever since we released my first two videos, Precision Toning and Precision Sculpting, I've had a lot of requests for a video with shorter workouts that concentrate on specific areas of the body. This program addresses those requests. This video is divided into four workouts, one for the thighs and buttocks, one for the legs, one that concentrates on the abdominal core, and one using light weights that work the biceps and triceps. Each workout integrates conditioning techniques from various forms and styles of exercise and dance, a signature combination of the method video programs. Some of the exercises are more challenging than others, but all share one common thread, an emphasis on form of performance and focus, the only way through which you can achieve optimal results with less effort, quality versus quantity. Let's get started. We'd like to start off by teaching you how to establish perfect posture. Zipping your inner thighs together, taking your hands behind you, pulling down and back, making sure not to hyperextend. Feel like one long, tall line. Lift your eyes above the horizon line without changing anything. Just release the hold and turn your feet parallel. So something that people often wonder about is how to use the abdominals while breathing. Very challenging. So I'd like to teach you right now. Place your hands on your rib cage and try to observe and feel what happens to your rib cage as the breath comes in and goes out. So inhale, the rib cage expands, your fingers separate, exhale, release, the fingers come closer together. Try it again. Inhale and exhale. Now the challenging part of this is maintaining the navel to spine connection. So what I'd like you to do at this point is place your hands on your abdominal wall and try to send the breath to your upper chest. Let's try it. Inhale and exhale. Try to feel that great firm central support. Again, inhale and exhale. Great. So what we just learned was smooth breathing. Now what we'd like to teach you is breath of fire, which we're going to incorporate in one of the first exercises. So to take five little breaths in through the nose and five little breaths out through the mouth. Watch us once and then join in. Five and then. Great, take a deep breath in, a deep breath out. Let's do that one more time, inhale. Drop your head weight and you'll get a 
feet roll down to your back, and if you roll, hug your right hand to your chest. Stretch that leg up to the ceiling, breathing in. Exhale, pull the leg toward you for a hamstring stretch. Drop the arms and shake the leg out so that you're not using extra tension. Navel to spine, leg circle to the left. Here we go. And hold. Hold. And three. One more time. Let's reverse. To the nose. Really stabilize the pelvis. Shoulders down two more times. And hold. From here, lift the upper body off the mat. Reach for the ankle or the knee. And you're going to hang backwards in a stretch. Flex both feet. And make sure that that opposite leg is directly down the midline of the body. When you do this technique, you're working on symmetry and balance the whole time. Hug the knee in. Head way back. Send that leg down. Let's go to the left. Leg up. A nice long stretch. Breathing in. Exhale, pull the leg towards you. Leg comes center. Shake it out. Use the triceps against the floor to the right. Hold. And hold. One more time. Left reverse. Reverse. And center. One more time. Hold it. Feel the leg reaching in opposition. And reach for the ankle hanging back. Flex both feet.
push. Feel like you're pushing 200 pounds away, and the weights that we're using are actually quite light. Two to three pounds at the most. Four more times. Out. Of course, remember to hold the center of the body firm. Out. Thank <laughs> you. 
very simple yet very effective. Four more times. Nice long neck, relax the shoulder. Last time. All right, let's take our weights down by our sides, chin to the chest, and roll up. Great. Let's discard our weights. Over the 
toes, inner thighs working, feel the buttocks strong. Uncurl through the spine. Point the right foot and the left foot. We go to the front and in nice and slow. Side. Really articulate the foot against the floor. Use a strong center. Left. We go one. Strong arms. Breathe and turn it parallel. 
Squeeze that knee down behind you. Take the left arm front and come right back. Beautiful. Come forward. Take your right hand and wrap it underneath that right foot. And you're aiming for the floor now with your head. Be gentle. From here, pull back to that wonderful hamstring stretch and use active fingertips to support your upper torso. Great. Let's come forward. Curl the toes to the back foot under and that same wonderful double leg stretch. Head down. Come center, everybody. Take a plie. Hands on the knees. Uncurl through the spine. Really reach the arms up. And let's come to the back edge of our mat for a very empowering series called Plank. What I'd like you to do is make sure you have the navel engaged, tailbone down, and firm legs. Breathe up, breathe down, and now walk out one hand at a time. Come to the plank, firm tailbone, and kicks. We go. Hold on. A two. Let's switch to the left. Keep your tailbone down. Hold it, and now walk your hands back to meet your feet. Uncurl through the spine, nice arch to the ceiling. What do you say we do that again? And down, and hold. Four kicks, and one. And switch, this is a very empowering exercise, enjoy it. Hold it, walking back. Uncurl through the spine, open up. Now let's have a seat to the side series. So, we go to our right elbow first. Legs to the side of the body. Hold the head up with the hand. Take your left hand in front of you. And if you get more advanced, you can actually place the hand on the head. Keep your torso still, and we'll start with the toss up. Stretch the foot. We go up and flat and lift. Remember that you feel the inner thigh the entire time you do this. Reverse. And remember that principle of opposition. You go up, you reach out. Little circles. We go all up. All the way to A. Reverse it. One. From here, take it front, side, back, together. And again, take it now remember, height is not important. Length is what we're most concerned about here. Hold it. Let's reverse it. Take it back. Take it side. Take it front. Really reach it together. And again, take it back. Are you breathing? Make sure you're continuing that breath. Hold it here. Grab the foot. Now this is a challenge to find your balance and your center. Pull that foot toward you. Breathe. Flex the foot, send it down. Let's flip onto our abdominals, everybody. Curl the toes underneath you. Let's go to downward dog, pressing back. Great stretch. Soften the knees if you need to at first, and then gradually straighten them. Stretch that right leg about an inch off the floor, and then all the way up to the ceiling. Breathe. This will help you achieve a wonderful hamstring stretch on that left leg. Lower that down, other side. Left foot down and up. So although we're working on the legs, we're also toning the upper body and the center. Great. On the knees, and let's go to the other side. So once again, you're placing your head in your hands, and the tug leg is externally rotated in the hip socket. Keep your center strong. Here we go. Talk up and squeeze. Let's reverse the foot. So we go flex up and point. Eight little circles, squeezing the butt. Foot, back, one more time. 
you. Now, this is a wonderful time to relax, but it's a very active stretch, so focus on it. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's switch to the other side. Now remember, while you're doing this stretch, you want to try to relax the shoulders, pull the center in, and work with a nice long spine. Cleansing breaths. Feet together, everybody, and let's do a roll-up and sit-up. So the arms are overhead and we're curling up. We'll be right back after this. 